All right, guys, today I want to show you how to do a quick wax up model. I'm just going to do it for one tooth, and I'm also going to include the mirror and copy. For this patient, we are taking out number 11 and putting in an implant, but she does need an Essex to cover it. So I'm going to show you how I would go about doing that. Let's get our exocab pulled up. And we are going to mirror and copy for the for number 11. I already have them in here. And it was this patient. All right. And so we're going to do a mock-up on number 11. Um, virtual extraction, we don't need to do that because I did that already. And then we will go to model creator, not the design, but we're gonna go to model creator. The computer's being a little bit slow today. We're gonna start our designs from scratch. So, go up to our desktop, find the right folder, and it's telling us to load the upper jaw. So we're gonna go to upper. And the antagonist, especially since it's like a fret tooth, we want to make sure that it's not hitting on anything. And then we're not going to do anything on here. We're going to go over to expert mode. And in expert mode, we're going to go to this canine and we're going to do copy mirror. Then without clicking on anything over here, just click on the tooth that you're wanting to copy and mirror and we'll click and place it. Obviously, it's not gonna be a very good placement at first. And then we'll control to rotate it just a tad. And okay. Then we are going to right click and freeforming to do any changes that we need to do. And I'm just going to remove some of this because we don't want him hitting on this at all because it is going to be protecting his implant area for us. And then we'll just smooth it out. So now we have that and we're going to click OK and we're going to have it overwrite the other files just because I had another one like that. All right, so now that's looking good. So we are going to go to Platelist Model Design and Expert and this is where we're going to go first though. You want to go to Settings and I don't like hollow models so I'm going to unclick that one. Go back to my Wax Up Settings and make sure that that number 11 full Pontic is included and then you're gonna to go to create model. You got great computers, it goes really fast. My computer's running a little bit slow today. I think it knows it's Monday. So now it has made us a solid model. And although this one, okay, is, it looks a little different, it is part of the model. And I'll probably, I can adjust that a teensy bit, but now that we have that, then we can go, we can save it. And then we're gonna go back over to this screen and do open in Explorer. And then you can do, you can look at the last thing that you modified, the digital wax up, it'll name it. So you can double click on that and it could bring us right to here. Or what you can do is, if you don't want to go that way, you can go back into here and click Save to File. So let's just say we want to, we know we're going to be printing it right away. We want to save it right to the desktop. We can just do AY Wax Up Solid and press Save. And so coordinate system, which coordinate system would be best for saving? I'm gonna do relative to original data scheme. And then now let's go in there and see if it is on our desktop. 
and it is. And that's all it is. There's all of all of those, and now we can print them. We can make retainers out of these. We can take impressions for temporaries. Uh, we can let the patient take this home if, say, it's a wax up. Lots of possibilities. But this was like a little trick that, for some reason, all those you know, you have to go into Wizard, and then you have to make sure all your settings are right. It took me a little while to figure this out, but I wanted to make a quick video of how you can do a direct copy and print a solid model that you'll be using either for retainers, bleach trays, wax ups, whatever. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and don't forget to follow. Thanks, guys.